you can see the I already had one run on it. It's got plenty of coals. I'm gonna uh, run this 16 horse generator motor. The generator head's not on it right now. I got to get another one. And uh, I'm gonna put some these wood chips in here. They're pretty wet. They need to be drier than what they are, but let's see what they do. It run good. The other day I had some good dry wood in it. I'm gonna set this video recorder over here so you can see what we're doing. Good gas already. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear the flame, but I can't see it. It's pretty invisible. I'm going to try to crank the motor. up on the smaller generator over there to the left, I mean to my right, uh, running that um, PMA three-phase generator to run my Sunny Boy grid feed inverter in there. I did get it up to about 1,700 watts. Uh, the wood's pretty wet. One of the reasons why I put it back on the one with the electric start. I got aggravated trying to crank it all the time. But it's a lot drier now and I got plenty of coals in there. One reason why that one cranked it, it's fired up so easy. But 
but uh, the main thing is to have fairly dry wood. You put wet wood in there like I just did as long as you got some good embers in there to get it going. So we'll let it run there for a minute. Uh, I'll pick it up and show you some of the temperatures. seems to like it better. I think it puts out a little too much gas for the six horse. And uh, as soon as I get time, I'm going to hook it up over here on this uh, 30 kilowatt generator. I'll show it to you real quick. <laughs> That's the big boy. That'll be the next project. I gotta make an adapter to hook it up to the carburetor. 